Panini, Paco, and the Hot Air Balloon Once upon a time, in a quaint little town, there lived a French bulldog named Panini and his best friend Paco. Panini was a charming little fellow with soft sandy fur and the most adorable snub-nosed face. Paco, on the other hand, was a robust and lively English bulldog with a heart as big as his belly. Every day, Panini and Paco would set out on exciting adventures around their neighborhood. They explored the park, chased butterflies, and even sniffed out hidden treasures in the old oak forest nearby. But their most favorite thing to do was visit Mrs. Jenkins, the kind and warm-hearted baker who lived on Cherry Street. Mrs. Jenkins was known for her magical baking skills. She whipped up the most delectable treats in her little bakery, and the aroma of freshly baked goods always filled the air around her house. Whenever Panini and Paco trotted into her bakery, they were greeted with the sweetest smiles and the tastiest biscuits. One sunny morning, as Panini and Paco made their way to Mrs. Jenkins' bakery, they noticed something peculiar in the sky. It was a colorful hot air balloon floating gracefully overhead. The balloon had a big sign on it that read, Adventure Awaits! Join the fun! Panini's eyes sparkled with excitement and Paco's tail wagged wildly. Oh, Panini, doesn't that look marvelous? Paco exclaimed, pointing to the balloon. Panini nodded eagerly. Yes, Paco, I've always dreamt of going on a real adventure. Without a second thought, the two friends approached the balloon's owner, Captain Felix, a friendly old man with a twinkle in his eye. He welcomed them aboard, and with a few tugs of the rope, the balloon gently lifted off the ground. Up in the sky, the view was breathtaking. Panini and Paco could see their entire town spread out like a colorful patchwork quilt below. They waved to their friends and neighbors who looked like tiny dots from up high. As they floated along, Captain Felix shared stories of his many adventures. He spoke of far-off lands, magical creatures, and the wonders of the world. Panini and Paco listened intently, their hearts filled with wonder. After a while, the balloon descended and landed near a vast, lush meadow. Panini and Paco hopped off and began exploring. The meadow was filled with vibrant flowers and they made their way through the maze of petals, laughing and playing hide and seek. As the sun began to set, Captain Felix bid them farewell and soared away in his balloon. Panini and Paco found themselves in a bit of a predicament. The meadow was vast and unfamiliar, and they didn't know the way back home. But just as worries started to creep in, they heard a soft, melodic voice. Out of the tall grass emerged a wise old tortoise named Tully. He wore a pair of spectacles perched on the end of his nose and carried a walking stick made from a gnarled branch. Lost, are you? Tully asked, peering over his glasses. Panini and Paco nodded sheepishly. Yes, we don't know how to get back home, Panini admitted. Tully smiled kindly. No need to worry, my young friends. I know these meadows like the back of my shell. Follow me and I'll guide you home. Grateful for Tully's help, 
Hanini and Paco followed the wise tortoise through the meadow, learning about the various plants and creatures they encountered along the way. Tolly's stories were just as captivating as Captain Felix's, and the journey home became an adventure in itself. As they reached the edge of the meadow, Tolly bid them farewell, and Panini and Paco thanked him with all their hearts. They trotted back into town where the twinkling stars greeted them like old friends. Mrs. Jenkins was delighted to see them back safely. She had been worried when she saw the balloon floating away without them. Panini and Paco shared their incredible adventure with her and Mrs. Jenkins listened with a smile, offering them delicious pastries as they chatted. From that day forward, Panini and Paco often visited Tolly and Captain Felix, each adventure bringing new joy and wisdom. The town knew them as the most adventurous and happy bulldogs, and they became beloved by all. And so, the French Bulldog named Panini and his best friend Paco, the English Bulldog, continued to go on so many adventures together. They learned that the world was full of wonders and their hearts were always open to new friends and new experiences. And even on the quietest evenings, as they lay side by side under the twinkling stars, they knew that life's greatest adventure was the friendship they cherished above all else.